Today I'm going to show you how to change the spark plugs and the ignition coils in an N54 inline six cylinder engine. Now the first thing we need to do is remove the plastic cowl piece here. Uh, there's some bolts here. Remove the trim pieces on either side of it um, and loosen this harness here. That way we can access the spark plugs number five and six that are closer to the firewall of the car. The ones in the front here can be accessed easily. Uh, I think that is numbers one through four. And once you start replacing number five and six towards the back, uh, this plastic cowl piece needs to be removed so we can access it. Now these side trim covers here are very easy to remove. We just lift up on the plastic tabs. There's one on each side here. And we'll use an eight millimeter socket to remove these screws. There's two more on the driver's side. Now, since you're going through the trouble of removing this cowl, uh, it's not a bad idea to replace, or at least check the condition of your cabin micro filters here and see if they need to be replaced. Again, this plastic trim piece will be removed on the driver's side as well. And that will expose more bolts that secure this cowl piece to the car. We'll use a flathead screwdriver to pry on the tabs that secure this to the car. We'll disconnect this plug for the switch right here. There's an eight millimeter screw right here to remove. Okay, now that this vanity cover is removed, we can go ahead and remove each of these coils. We'll do one cylinder at a time, and we'll start in the front here with cylinder one. We'll just lift up on this plastic clip, and pull out the harness, just like any other uh, non-turbo BMW motor. Um, even going back to the M54 engine on a certain 2003 I believe to 2005 or 2006 models they have the same exact ignition coil setup. Now you can lift these out by hand which is usually pretty easy but I've also seen some people place an extension through here like this to give you a bit more leverage when removing the coil pack. And it's just interesting to note these look like uh, Delphi coil packs. You can tell based on the metal sleeve here. The Bosch ones do not have this. And it also says the brand name Delphi right here on the side. Now it's important to note that you will need this 14 millimeter spark plug socket. This uh, pattern is specific to the plugs used on the N54 turbo motors uh, and the N55 and N20 as well. Um, this is a thin walled socket which allows you to use it on the cylinder head on this car. And what's cool about this one is it also has a magnet inside of the socket which makes retrieving each plug from the cylinder head much easier. Now I did briefly take a look at the TIS, uh, the BMW service manual for this procedure. And interestingly enough it did specify to use a universal joint 
or a flexible joint such as this um, with the spark plug socket. And it says that's important to prevent insulator breakage. Um, it's probably fine to not use this, but since it's in the BMW workshop manual, I felt that it was worth noting. Once this is seated on the plug, we'll turn it counterclockwise. And the plug should come out pretty easily. If it doesn't, or you're having a really hard time breaking it loose, uh, the previous person who worked on the car most likely over torqued the plug. Now this car was always serviced by the dealerships and as a result we can see this has a BMW and Bosch genuine plug. And I will be replacing these with a one-step colder plug made by a Japanese company NGK. And I've always used NGK plugs and in my opinion those are the best uh, to use in your car. Here's a look at the plug I'll be replacing. The Bosch wood, this is a laser iridium tipped. Uh, it's one step colder. And the part number here, 95770. Now these are currently on back order around the country and world, I guess, globally. Um, but you can find these um, at some vendors, some performance vendors online still have these available. And oddly enough, it's important to note that there's also plenty of counterfeit versions of these um, shipping from China. So if you're looking for this plug, the 95770, and you see it shipping from China uh, via e-packet or something like that, definitely don't buy it. Now the gap is set from the factory with these, uh, and you can tell that the gap is preset based on this protector here. And currently the gap on these I checked is about 0 0.023 or 0 0.024. And for this motor and a high boost modified application, um, the gap is anywhere from 0 0.022 to 0 0.027. Now one final note before installing this plug, uh, some people like to put some sort of copper paste on the threads here to get it started. Um, the BMW workshop manual says not to put any grease or oil on these threads and that's the procedure that I would recommend and that I will be following with this installation. So we'll carefully slide this down into the cylinder head and get this started by hand. It's important to always start these by hand. You don't want to start cranking on it with a ratchet. Um, basically you won't be able to feel if it's cross threading and it's important to uh, do this by hand first. That's about as far as I can go by hand. Now we can put the ratchet on. and we'll check the torque spec. I'm using uh, just an inexpensive 3 8 drive torque wrench here and I've set it to 17 pound-feet of torque um, which is the equivalent of about 23 newton meters for the rest of the world. And that click means that we've hit the torque spec of 17 foot-pounds. For the replacement coil pack, I will be using the Bosch brand. Uh, there's also a few other options, such as the Delphi, which are a few dollars more per coil. Um, I ordered these from FCP Euro. I actually picked these up. I live close by to that um, to that store. It's, it's a great place. 
and basically these are uh, covered by a lifetime warranty so there's not really much need for me to purchase uh, the more expensive Delphi version since if I have a problem with any of, the, any of these in the future I know FCP Euro will replace this for free. And here's a look side by side the Delphi versus, versus the Bosch and these have a rubber on the outside but underneath this rubber uh, is a metal sleeve anyway um, so they're you know for all intents and purposes more or less the same product uh, these are about twenty seven dollars each twenty eight dollars each and these are twenty three or twenty four dollars each and of course before inserting the coil pack if you want you can put a small amount of dielectric grease on the inside of the insulator boot here Then just push this into place until you hear that pop. It's fully seated. We'll reconnect the electrical harness. And as you're pushing at the same time, pull the clip down. Now we can move on to cylinder two, three, four, five, and six. Once again, pop this up, disconnect, okay now what's super interesting is that this is a Bosch coil and you can look at the production date stamp here on the rubber and it is 08. Um, so yeah, this is from a 2008 car or is likely original to this car. This is uh, a March 2007 build, I believe, um, which is pretty interesting. And previously, uh, back in November of 2018, I have a repair invoice from a BMW dealership that worked on the car, and they replaced the Cylinder 1 coil pack, just one, and that's where the new Delphi coil came from. Uh, this one here that I just removed from cylinder one and there is uh, talk on the internet about not being able to interchange the Delphi unit with the Bosch but uh, interestingly enough it looks like that the BMW dealership that last worked on this car um, they had no problem putting a single Delphi coil uh, in the front here and I'm gonna guess that the rest of these are also original And once again, slide the connector back on as we pull the tab down. Now on to number three. Again, production date of 2008 on the production code on this rubber piece here.
All right, cylinder five. This is the code, or this is the cylinder that gave me a misfire code. And once again, production date of 2008 on these original coil packs. Now, if you can remember at the beginning of this video, I did put a universal joint on the end of this extension, and that's coming in handy right now because we have this strut brace here, and it's allowing us to access this plug uh, without removing the strut bar. And this one is also 2008. Once again, we will start this by hand. Super important so you don't cross thread the spark plug threads with the aluminum threads in the cylinder head. Okay, that concludes the spark plug and coil pack installation. We will put the vanity cover back on, reinstall the cowl pieces, and the car is good to go.